Hi, Atlantic High School. I'm Ben Reno. And I'm Jackson Eaton. And you're watching this week's Eye of the Needle. On Monday, Atlantic Police Department, in conjunction with the Cass County Sheriff's Department, conducted a canine search for drugs and illegal substances. Students were asked to place their bags in the hallway during the search. HS journalists interviewed Principal Heather McKay after the search was finished the 24th. McKay said the search went well. McKay said she was disappointed that there was only two dogs available, which slowed down the process. A school our size usually uses four dogs. We asked McKay if drugs were found during the search. It's just an answer I don't give, she said. McKay said the only people that know when a search will take place are the handler and herself. In the morning of the search, she tells Superintendent Michael Amstein. Other ways they get the word out for drugs through education is guest speakers and open and honest conversations. There was a rotary lunch held yesterday at the Cass County Community Center to honor senior students in band, chorus, speech, drama, and art classes, as well as NHS members. Bryn Blanchett performed her after-dinner speech in Trinity Zinda, performed a pantomime. Do you want to be up to date in school news but not check the website every day? Sign up for the Trojan Horse, a weekly digest packed full with stories and the latest eye of the needle delivered right where you need them. You got a plane ticket to go anywhere in the world and even right now, where are you going? 1301 Locust Street. Probably Chook, because that's where my parents are. Florida or Walt Disney World. New York City. I would go to Alaska. I'd go to Big Kahuna Burger. I'll take the quickest flight back to Mercedes Street Cup class. You get a plane ticket to go anywhere in the world. Where are you going? Leaving right now. Wow. Lewis, Iowa. <laughs> I'm going to England because you can buy train tickets to go to all the different UK countries. Well, I'm going to Israel. <laughs> uh, Australia. Why? Uh, they speak English still, but it's far away and exotic. <laughs> okay, you get a plane ticket to go anywhere in the world. Where are you going? Here. Here? Here is good. I like it. Okay, you get a plane ticket to go anywhere in the world. Where are you going? Somewhere that speaks Spanish. So. Places that I haven't been but want to go to would be like Colombia or Mexico. But I also love to go back to places I have already been, so like Spain or Nicaragua or Costa Rica. Europe. I'm gonna give you a plane ticket to go anywhere in the entire world. Where are you going? Um, probably Japan. Why? Because I like the culture over there. Why? Because it's intriguing. Why? Because people are fun. Why? Why do you keep asking why? Why? Rome, Italy. Why? Because I've always wanted to see the Colosseum because there's so much history and the blood and war that happened there. Okay, uh, you get a plane ticket to go anywhere in the world. Uh, we'll leave it right now. Where are you going? Chicago. This week, boys golf won at Clarenda and at Denison Invitational. Jake Olson was the medalist finishing one under par at Clarenda. Ben Reno was the top place for the Trojans at Denison with the runner-up finish. A highlight for girls golf this past week was defeating Clarenda 
on Thursday. Brooke Newell medaled with a one under par finish with her sister Bailey Newell finishing as the runner up. Boys soccer had three games this week. Their highlight was defeating Crescent on Monday in overtime with Colton Carey passing the ball to his brother Dawson to score the goal. That's going to be one to show his mom, Jen. <laughs> They're going to be like, what are they doing over there? I will laugh if that goes in. <laughs> Girls soccer won their first game of the season against Missouri Valley Monday night 3-0 with a hat trick by Danielle Haas Hunter. Boys tennis defeated Harlem this week. Cooper McDermott, Niall Peterson, Caleb Flory, and Caleb Williams each picked up singles victory. Girls tennis also defeated Clarenda and hosted a tournament on Saturday. In boys track, the 4x4 relay consisting of Grat Reed, Dylan Sontag, Zeke Whetstone, and Zade Nicholson has qualified and will run on Friday evening. Grat Reed has also qualified in the 110 meter high hurdles and the 400 meter hurdles. In girls track, the shuttle hurdle team of Madeline Kicklin, Morgan Altman, Bailey Schilberg, and Anna Lowry taking second at the Tiger Knight Relays. That's back to old. Um, from stash on. Hawkins, um. Only B Hills. Um. Lip and uh, yeah, it's not Vargs, but Vargs. Thank you for joining us this week, AHS. I'm Jackson Eaton. And I'm Ben Reno. Make this week count, AHS.